Hi, everybody. So I will be talking about web performance, why it is important for your business, how it does affect your business, and what you can do to actually improve it. It will be a little bit techy, but uh, I will also give tips for the not techies to actually do something. So first of all, who am I? I've been a web developer for about 10 years, and I spent the last six years leading front-end development team. I'm a user-first kind of guy. I try to put myself in the user's shoes and to identify pitfalls and flaws in the website in order to improve them. One of these is performance. I came in Ireland in 2007. I'm Italian, as you can guess from the accent, and uh, I worked for a number of companies. Then I joined the Skill Pages, where I lead the front-end development team, and we grew from zero to two million users in just about a month, as the guys here said. So I'm a little bit of a performance freak. I, like to, I love to work towards improving website performance, and I love to talk about website performance. And uh, I'll give you, I'll start with a, with, a, with a nice story. So this guy is John. John is a guy who loves steam trains. He will take them to go whenever and wherever. He knows that the steam trains are slow, but he can't wait. On the other side, we have Paddy. Paddy is a businessman. He is in a hurry. He needs to take always the fastest train available and he needs to get from A to B in the shortest time. Paddy can't wait. So now, which one of these trains would you take to go to work every day? You see, John, the steam train guy, is your loyal user, is your family member, the guy who is in love with your business, the guy who will never leave you. But Paddy, on the other side, is your average user. So did you, start why, did you remember why you started to use Google? It was leak, it was easy, but it was fast. You type something, and in a snap, less than half a second, you got the results. So the truth is that people hate slow website. And I'll give you a few interesting facts. What is a slow website? A slow website in 1999 was a website that took more than eight seconds to load. In 2006, four seconds, and in 2009, two seconds to load. So we got better with website performance, but also user expectation became higher. Akamai, in a study, revealed that uh, if you have a landing page that takes more than four seconds to load, 75% of the users are less likely to come back. That's three out of four. For every extra seconds of your page, uh, uh, for every extra seconds your page takes to load, uh, especially for financial website, uh, you risk lose about 40% of your users. Yahoo had a homepage that uh, took about 400 milliseconds extra to load one time, and they noticed a drop between 5 and 9% of the visits, while Amazon found a direct correlation between 100 milliseconds, one-tenth of a second of extra loading time, and 1% less in revenue. Google tested a search results page with 30 search results instead of 10. It took about uh, half a second more to load. This brought them 20% less visits and revenue, and that's a lot. So what would happen also on a slow e-commerce website? Out of 100 users, 79 are less likely to come back, while 64 will go to your competitor because they're faster. 46 will start to develop a negative perception of the brand, and 44, in their worst, will start to share that uh, negative perception on social media and with your peers. So you spend a lot of money marketing, and uh, all of this is just destroyed by one user out of two that is basically pissed off by the fact that your website takes a lot of time to load. 27% of the users, if you have any offline retailer, they will stop to buy from that shop as well. Such is the negative perception they have of the brand. So faster website means more users. And if this wasn't enough, and you have like a business that gets a lot of visits from search engines, you need to know that the search engine, especially Google, hate slow website. They want to give the best experience, the fastest experience to their users. They help users to find what they're searching for. So they rank the fastest result at the top. So site speed is a core part of every search ranking algorithm. Faster website means better ranking, and better ranking means more users. So what are we going to do now? If you have a slow website, if you want to start somewhere to improve your website performance, uh, don't panic. Front-end performance improvement or performance improvement in general is not really rocket science. There are many easy bits you can do. So the first one is you need to measure what you have, 
you need to improve what you have, and you need to keep monitoring what you have. So let's start with measuring. You can install some extension to your browser like Firefox. So you can install Firebug, open it, and go to the Net tab, and it will show how your page loads. You will see each component in this timeline, and you can identify if you have any issue, how much it takes, if there is something that is slowing down everything else. Or also, you can install, install uh, Wiselow, that is from Yahoo. It will give you a grade, it will give you the best practice to improve your website performance according to Yahoo Web Performance Best Practices, some of the best you can find. Page speed from Google, like Yahoo Wiselow, will give you a score and will give you also the next step to improve your, the score and the website performance. Now, one very important thing you need to remember is that this is just data, and sometimes user perception is very different from data. So the user is actually happy when uh, users act, are actually happy when they can interact with the page. This is something that, for example, Amazon guys got really well. When a user goes to Amazon, they want just to search for a book or go somewhere most of the time. So what Amazon does is loading uh, the search bar at the top of the page and the navigation bar straight away before loading the full page. So the user is happy at this point and they can start to interact with the page. If the marketing content in the middle has a lot of images, it's very heavy, it takes 10 seconds to load, the user just doesn't care. For the user, the page is loaded at this point. So second step, improve your website. Every time you load a page, part of the time is spent downloading your content and is like, um, part of the time, sorry, is spent getting the data and processing the data, while the other part of the time, the majority is spent downloading your content. So we're not really gonna worry about the backend because more than 80% of performance improvement can be resolved on the front end. Also, on a side note, performance improvement on the front end are cheap, they're easy, and they are low hanging fruit, like minor structural changes or configuration changes you can apply to your website. I'll be a little bit techy now, it'll be very short. I will go through some of the most important ones. First of all, load less stuff. Instead of having multiple images on the server, just have a single one, call it Sprite. And the same concept applies to any external file that your website has, like CSS, JavaScript, whatever. Concatenate into a single file so that the user downloads one entity for each type of file instead of making multiple requests. This is gonna drastically improve your website performance. Load the smaller stuff, compress your content before you give it to the users. So the user will download 20% of actually what they have to download. And this will also improve drastically your website performance. Minify your stuff basically means uh, remove before deploying on live uh, everything that is not needed to render the page, like uh, white spaces, uh, comments, and anything the user doesn't really care about. Don't reload the same stuff. If the user goes to multiple pages of your website that contain the same content, the same images, make sure that these images are cached, are temporarily stored in the user memory so the user downloads them only once. Properly load your stuff. Use like Amazon CDN, like Amazon S3 or Akamai or other content delivery network that will find the best way to deliver your stuff to their users. Also, load your stuff faster. Think about a highway with a single lane. All the cars are gonna be queuing in that lane. If you add multiple lanes to the highway and you have four domains where the user can download things from, then the user can simultaneously download content from four multiple sources and the traffic flow is gonna be much faster. And very importantly, don't load bad stuff. So if you have a 404 that is a file not found error on your website, you risk to queue all the traffic behind, like a car stuck in the middle of the lane. Third step, monitor. Keep monitoring your website before and after perform every performance improvement and in the long term. You can use stuff like uh, showslow.com or uh, webpagetest.org that are excellent websites to set up daily or any kind of automated monitoring for your website. Webpagetest.org webpage is also excellent because it can measure the time to interact. It can generate videos and screenshots of uh, your page while it loads. So for example, you can see that skillpages.com on the top is actually loaded after 0.6 seconds. The full loading is actually at about 1.2, 1.3, but a user can start to interact after almost half a second. One very important thing is remember to measure everything before and after every performance improvement, every minor change that you apply to the website. If you don't do this, you have to analyze gains and losses every time, and if you don't do this, everything is just going to be a blind bet. To take home, performance is key, faster website means more users, 
measure your website performance, improve your front-end performance, and keep monitoring your website. Also, the sooner you start, the better it is going to be. Invest a little bit of time in the beginning for the, for the long term, and another tip I'm gonna give you is hire at least one good front-end developer, somebody that will guide your front-end team to achieve excellent results and actual excellent performance. I'll uh, finish with a quote from David Carrington. If it is fast and ugly, they will use it and curse you. If it is low, they will just not use it. Thank you.